Could you imagine a quarterback see, of the caliber of Russell see, Wilson in Chicago? Did you see his smile when yeah. he thought, oh, he's like, yeah, I, I'm like, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> so, Kimberly, you had them winning less in, than seven and a half. Mm -hmm. So, so who do you think should be starting week one? This will blow your mind. I actually think Andy Dalton should start. Um, what? And here's why. <laughs> I know, sounds crazy. But here's what bothers me. The, when, I talk, when I hear people talk about the bear situation, they often bring up Matt Nagy, Ryan Pace, you know, job security. They're going to be hard-pressed to start this kid. I was in Chicago over the weekend, so I saw Justin Fields up close. I understand why Jimmy Graham is smiling like that. Like, he sees his lady like, oh, yeah, look at her. She's great. I get it. <laughs> All the great things I've heard about Justin Fields, competitor, he's somebody who's working hard. He wants to be great, and he's willing to put in the work to become that. That said, this is about Justin Fields and how you how you prepare him for the NFL and make sure that he's in the best position to start. I don't like the talk about the job security because I've covered enough bad teams that didn't do right by the QB. It was uh, there were other factors going on and and it's not about just 2021, it's about Justin Fields' career going forward. And when you start a rookie QB, it's hard if they struggle. It's hard to go back and say, okay, let's go with the veteran. You start with the veteran. If he's not, if he's just so so or he's bad, then you get to turn the page completely and say, this is the guy. This is the kid that's going to take us the rest of the season. But you got him winning seven or less. So I wonder, Ninko, I go to you. Who do you think should be starting week one? Because I don't know how Chicago would feel about that if they win seven or fewer games. This is the entertainment business. Let's all remember that. So to entertain the Chicago fan base, yeah, Bears, the, the best fan base in the whole NFL, <laughs> you got to go with the rookie. You got to go with the first round pick. They're, they're loading up the stadium to see your first round pick rookie quarterback who's a Ohio State guy right down the road. They want to see him in Chicago. They want to see him win. They want to get back to their old winning ways back in the day when they were winning Super Bowls back in the 80s with Ditka. You know, so for me, I think that you got to have the rookie in there. You got to put him in. You got to put him in early. At, listen, this is the seat rental business. They rent their seats in the stadium. They want to fill them up. They yeah. want to have happy fans. You want to sell all those jerseys. It's the money-making business, and they're going to have the rookie out there. That's what I think they should do. What do you think? Man, we know where Andy Dalton is. Come on. Let, let's just be honest here. You know, <laughs> all on, of that stuff name. sounds great. Yeah, exactly. We know where Andy Dalton is. He's He's a veteran guy that's been, you know, bouncing around the league a little bit, you know, the past couple of years. I think when it comes to the Bears, you need that dynamic young quarterback that's going to present different problems to a defense. The Bears' defense is really good. You know, so when I look at the Chicago Bears and how they're kind of set up, I understand the, the, the first half of the schedule is brutal. But the Bears has a really good defense. I think their offensive line is going to be a lot better. They got weapons on offense with, with Allen Robinson. Now you have a dynamic young quarterback that can do a, you can do a lot of different things if you're Matt Nagy. Why waste your time on something that you already know and put the, when you can put the young kid in there and let him grow? Let him grow into the position right off the bat. Okay, so, and here's the thing. Chicago fans aren't having it, not making it to the playoffs. They're not having it, making it far, not making it far into the playoffs. They lose some of those tough games in the beginning. I don't know how this team even sniffs the playoffs. So that'll be interesting to see how that well, plays well, Let me ask you this question. Would uh, you rather lose tough games with Andy Dalton or with, 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 with Justin Fields? Justin Fields. <laughs> right. I would. Justin Fields.